Say hey, everybody. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Okay. Watch. Here it goes. Look at that. Way up yeah. in there. <laughs> you ready? Get on one, two, two three, four. go. Look at that. <laughs> And water, the water went way up there, didn't it? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? I like it. Oh, there are two. One, two. Three. On your mark. Right. On your mark. Four. Stay on your mark. Go. Go. Oh. Oh. Ah. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. As always, if this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop in anytime you feel, my friend. <music> Guys, this afternoon, I'm sitting out here on the pool just chilling a little bit. I done got to where I do that pretty often. And I've been getting a lot of questions about how's my pool doing and how much maintenance I'm having to do and what I use on it and questions like that. So I thought I'd just take a little time to go over that with y'all. I have been fortunate with this pool. If you've seen any of my past videos from when I set this pool up, when I filled it up with that nasty water, but guys, once I got that water cleared and test it and I've done a video on that I'll try to attach it above showing y'all and telling you what I did and how I got it cleaned up when it was that nasty but since then I can't remember how long it's been now but I will put the date within this video because I'll look it up I haven't even shocked this pool now we get rains We've been getting a lot of rain, so it's been a couple times I've had to drain the pool because it was filled up and going over the sides. And even with all of that rain, all I do is that little floater floating around out there, I put three of them chlorine tablets in it. And I know if you read on them, they say that this pool ain't enough gallons to put three chlorine tablets in it. But guys, I put three tablets in there and I test this pool once a week and it's always testing good and when them tablets start melting down even if I check it in two it's melted down to where I can just stick one more in there I just keep it full which I saw that in the hold is three of them but what I'm saying is they melt I just keep three in there at all times and when I'm testing it, it's, it's testing good every week. One of the reasons I think my pool stays so clean and it's doing so good, because I keep my pump, which is the Sand Pro 75D, I keep it running four hours on, four hours off. It's on a timer. Four hours on, four hours off. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And when it's running them four hours, that Polaris vacuum cleaner there is vacuuming. That Intex skimmer over on the side is running. But another thing, tip that I think that'll help you guys, besides to putting it on a timer and running four hours on and four hours off around the clock, and, it, and this is going to depend on where you live, but like me, I ain't got no trees right here close to it. But on windy days, it gets some leaves in here, and that vacuum cleaner will pick them up. I don't wait no week to clean my vacuum cleaner, and I don't wait no week to clean my skimmer basket. Just about every day, I walk by and look at it. If I see any amount of trash in it, and that's what I was about to do today, and I decided to make this video, and I'm going to show you all when I go do it. It ain't much trash in there. But go on and get that trash out. Because if you don't, that trash starts molding and rotting and whatever else it does. And your water's going through there, going through your pump right back in your pool. So if you'll keep the trash out daily 
And if you ain't got much trash, you may not have to do it daily. I, some days I don't have to do it daily, but if you got trees, you need to do it daily. But if you'll keep that trash out of your vacuum cleaners, out of your skimmers, to me, and keep your sand pumps running four hours on and four hours off, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I think a lot of you guys won't be having to use the chemicals and such that y'all, I mean, I'm getting comments, people are talking about how often they have to shock their pool and add extra chlorine and all this, and it makes me wonder, what well, crap, if I got some bad testing strips here, because mine's testing good. But, like I said, I come out here every day and keep it clean. So let's go over here and let's take a look. And I'm going to show y'all, I don't think I cleaned my, my Polaris out yesterday. So we're going to get it out and look at it and show y'all what how much is in there. And, and that's why I just feel that that's what's keeping my pool so clean. And as far as the chlorine tablets, I've been asked what brands I use. Guys, we've used two or three different brands. My wife's picked them up at Walmart. She's picked them up at Sam's. We've ordered some off of Amazon. They ain't never the same brand. It's just the chlorine tablets. And I don't think brand has nothing to do with it as far as that part goes. But let's go over here and look at it now. Let's clean our vacuum cleaner. All right, before I pull my vacuum cleaner over here, first thing, I'm getting ahead of myself. First thing you want to do before you turn your pump off, if it's running, is come over here, and I look at this every day, is I look at the pressure and make sure that it ain't come up. I got a mark, because you can see how that's got condensation in it, but I got a mark right here on the edge of mine where it normally runs, and I got a mark up here to where it max before you need to backwash. Mine is still running 10 to 11 pounds. Also, keep a steady look on your strainer basket on your pump. Now, guys, you can see down in there, they look like there's one little leaf in there. Even though that's just one little leaf, when I turn this pump off and I clean my vacuum cleaner and I clean my skimmer out, I'm going to get that one little leaf out because I don't want that one little leaf in there making mold and other contaminants and it stays in your water. But guys, the backwash on this. Now I've done a video on how to backwash it. I haven't backwashed this pump since I've hooked it up other than to make videos a couple of times. Other than that, my pool has stayed so clean, my pressure ain't even went up on my pump to backwash. Now I take that back. One time before I was gonna have to drain the pool down when it rained it was full of water I went on and drained it and I got a video on how you can use your sand pro to drain your pool I went on and backwash because I was needing to get water out of the pool anyway so I went on and backwash because why not other than that I ain't, I ain't had to backwash yet so right now I'm gonna go over and turn my pump off so one of the first things you want to do if you got a player 65 is undo your disconnect right here where it connects to your pool and it's got this little screen filter in there. And guys, it don't take much dirt to get in there. And that Polaris won't do what it's supposed to do. It's got to have enough pressure going in there to make that thing go forward. And then all of a sudden, ever so many seconds, it'll reverse. If you ain't got enough pressure going through there, that thing will stay in forward. And all it'll do is wind up in circle. And it won't be doing no vacuuming because it'll stay just wound up. So right now, I'm going to walk over here and wash this out, even though it ain't hardly nothing in there. I do this daily. Sometimes, sometimes I wait every other day, but just about every day I walk by here because it don't take just a second. And guys, don't never take this screen out and say, well, I'm going to just take that screen out and then I won't have to worry about it. Well, if you take that screen out, the first thing that's going to happen, trash is going to go into that Polaris 65, and it's going to get into the part that where it makes it change its gears and stuff, and your Polaris ain't going to work because it's going to have trash in it. That's why this filter's here, to keep the trash out of it. All right, 
Now that I got that attached, I'm gonna pull the flares over here to me. We had a thunderstorm come through yesterday, so I know it's got some leaves in here today. You see guys, no mornings in there? I ain't gonna let that stay in there and not clean it. That's some leaves, that's some little bugs. When that stuff starts rotting and all that, that contaminates your water. Then you have to buy more chemicals and use more chemicals more often. Now the easy way to clean these bags is turn them inside out. And I go over and I take my water hose and spray right down through there and it just sprays it right out. I'll be right back. Now I turn it back in right side in. And I got a clean bag. I ain't got to worry about nothing rotting and rotting, rotting and bugs and all that contaminating my pool water. Just throw it back in there. It'll sink to the bottom. Next, you want to come over to your skimmer. And it don't matter if it ain't got but two leaves in it and two bugs. I go over to my water hose and I wash them out. And always look below your basket. There's a leaf right there that done got below the basket somehow. Make sure you ain't got no bugs or nothing below the basket. If you do, get that stuff out of there. Now I'm going to put my skimmer basket back in there and put the little float on top of it. And now I'm going to clean the basket on the pump, even though it ain't much in there. Don't take just a minute to do this. Now guys, to, to open up your basket on your pump, you got to close your valves. If you ain't got no valves like I plumbed in, that's where you're going to have to take the time to plug your B ports. And then you got a valve right here that come on this Coleman pole you can close. But I don't ever fool with that valve because I got my valve right there. Now it's got the water turned off. Now I can open my, my basket up. Now y'all see why I put plumb mine with them valves. How quick and easy it is. Now I'm going to go to the water hose and I'm going to wash that little bit of trash out of here. Guys, I think of this stuff as like a cup I'm drinking out of or a bowl I'm eating out of. I don't just pull this out and dump the trash back and stick it back in there with trash still stuck in there. I'm going to go over and take a moment. If I'm going to go take the time to do this, I'm going to go over and wash it and it's going to be clean when I put it back in there. Also, this basket on this Sand Pro 75D, you got to make sure you put it in right. The side with the hole right here has got to be facing as your water's coming from your pool into your pump. If you ain't got it in there right, you ain't going to be accomplishing nothing. The water's going to go around your basket. I put that on. I open my two valves. And guys, I go flip my pump back on and I'm done. Now the basket right here on the pump we just clean, guys. Sometimes I don't have to do that about once a week because it ain't much in it. But I think that's because I keep my vacuum clean. I keep my skimmer clean. I just keep the pool clean. So let's turn the pump back on. And then we're going to go back upstairs. Turn your pump back on. You want to look. Make sure your lid ain't leaking when you put it on there. If you ever drop that lid on the ground, go wash it off. Don't 
pick it up off the ground with grass on it or dirt or sand on it. It's on that little rubber seal, and then when you turn your pump on, it's going to be leaking. Now I'm going to pull my little floaty over here. I know it ain't going to need nothing today because I actually, I think it was just yesterday. That I put them in there. But, see that's three full ones in there. You could put four in this one, but we, we put three in there because it's been working good. When I test the pool once a week, everything's been staying just right. But guys, that's how I've been keeping this pool clean. And like I said, I can't remember how long it's been, but I'm, I'm going to attach it. It'll be attached in the screen. The date that I got this pool cleaned. And you see it in that video. You, you can go back and look at that video, and I'll try to attach it above if I don't forget. And all I've done, I, ha I have not added any liquid chlorine to it for weeks. Now one, one time I had to add some chlorine to it because we got like a 10 inch ring. So it overflowed it and I pumped it down and it overflowed it and I pumped it down and it overflowed it. Now back then I did have to put some chlorine, liquid chlorine in it. But here for the last weeks, probably two months, what I just showed y'all is all I do. And I, I give it all, mostly I think it's because I keep the pump on a timer running four hours on, four hours off, 24 hours a day. That vacuum cleaner's running like that and that skimmer's running like that. We don't never come out here and see leaves floating around. Maybe one or two that the skimmer ain't got to the skimmer yet. But you don't come out here and there's bugs floating around because it comes on in the middle of the night every four hours. It's doing its job. But your job is to keep the basket cleaned out, keep the vacuum cleaner, even if you ain't got this Polaris vacuum cleaner and you got some other brand, you keep all that mess cleaned out. You, not only does it keep it from contaminating the water by keeping it cleaned out, the skimmer will work better when the basket's cleaned out because it's got more suction. Your vacuum cleaner is going to work better because it, no matter what style it is, if it's a suction style, it's gonna have more suction. The Polaris here is gonna have less weight in there so it can move the bag around faster to pick up more trash. But guys, we've really been enjoying this pool. I had a comment the other day, said, ain't that deck an awful lot for a pool that ain't gonna last two or three years? <laughs> Uh, whoever gave me that comment must didn't watch my video when I built the deck because when I was building the deck the reason I built it the way I did and I said this in the video the reason I had it up here on this edge where when that liner needs replacing or we want to pool's no good and we put a new pool it, I can easily do it if we decide we don't want to pool no more the way I got my legs not concreted in the ground but concreted below the ground I can take two tractors and pick this deck up and move it around there and put it on front of my house if I want to. But I just kind of think stuff like that's funny when they, when I get asked a question that I done said it in the, in the video. If they just apparently wasn't listening to every part of the video, but that's fine. I understand. But guys, that's all the advice I got for you on keeping the pool. Main thing is the ones that want to know how I'm doing with it, I'm doing awesome with it. Now, I know if you a working person, you come in, you ain't going to want to come do this every day. But still, if you'll do it every other day or every three days, keep that trash out of that skimmer and out of that vacuum cleaner, I think it'll cut down on your having to use your chemicals and stuff. Also, it's going to depend on how many people's in your pool and how often and suntan lotions and all of that here at this pool it's basically been just me occasionally my wife my daughter and my grandson every now and then my son-in-law we had a couple of kids came over a couple of times and swam but the more people you got swimming in your pool with them tanning lotions and 
sunscreen and sunblock and all that on, that's t that contaminates your water. You're going to have to treat it a little more often. But guys, I hope this video helps someone out. If you like this little video and this type of videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, reach down there right now and hit that subscribe button. Don't cost you a thing, but it'll really help me out. I'm really working hard on growing this YouTube channel, and I'm, I, need, I need subscribers to grow, grow, grow. <laughs> so I appreciate it if you would subscribe and share my videos on your social media. Get all your friends to come over, jump on board with us. See what they can learn. They, I got to have some video out there that's interesting to them. But guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. God bless, and I'll see y'all next time.